Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing Black Opal 64-bit Linux. This distribution is based on Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. Okay, so I'll show you where did it go. System monitor. Okay, here we are. Okay, so release 12.04 kernel 3.2.0 and it's using GNOME 3.4.1 okay my six core chip with 16 gigabyte of RAM resources right okay so minimize this right here and you can see the unity launcher Ubuntu's unity launcher out here right and the graphics and all the eye candy it looks really great it has a lot of application, good applications. It's got no bloatware, as some would suggest. And I'll show you the applications. Okay, these are all the applications. Catalyst control, yeah. This is it. So many applications are there. You've got for printing, you've got, let's see, transmission, XBMC. You've got Play on Linux, which is an excellent tool for playing Windows games. Okay, I'm going to open Play on Linux. Click install. Now let's see what games are there. Okay, what games are suppo supported? Okay, applications right here. Okay, and let's open. Yeah, my graphics card information. It's using yeah one GDDR one gigabyte GDDR5 12.4 Catalyst version 12.4 yeah so I'll minimize this okay so let's see yeah what let's see so you can see the games the different games that are there in this list Age of Empires, Alien Breed, Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 you've got Battlefield 2 Call of Duty series Call of yeah. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 okay so you can see the different games out here that are supported under play on Linux Dead Space 2, Dead Space, Dead Rising 2, Crisis 2, multiplayer, you've got the multiplayer right here, Counter Strike Source, Diablo 2, Diablo 3, you've got Diablo 3, Dragon Age 2, Devil May Cry 4, like X, okay, so Dragon Age, Fear, Fear 2, Fallout 3, Far Cry 2, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, and let's see, good old games, good old games, yeah, Duke Nukem Manhattan Project, so you can see the list of games in play on Linux, okay, so let's minimize this. So basically this is the distribution that is made by the same guys who have created Ultimate Edition Linux. Okay. And yeah, so this is based on Ubuntu 12.04. Okay. So let's open up say hard info. Okay. Run little benchmarks, so it tells six hundred is my CPU crypto hash. I'll tell you what this distro can be useful. It's perfect for home use, for home use for playing all your games. Okay, and it's an excellent substitute to Windows and Macintosh. Okay, and it's got all the graphics you need in a usually you need in a desktop operating system. So yeah, and let's see. And it's basically a new distribution. So let's see. I'm gonna run program here. Sensors. 
hyphen detect yes 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 okay so mark pro it87 i'm gonna close this and i'm gonna open p sensor again okay. okay so now you can see different my temperature my cpu temp is this 31 degrees okay max other temperatures okay so I'm gonna keep this here you can see that compass the compass compositing and compass you know, all the graphics funny graphics funky looking graphics is enabled in old black hole Pulse 64 bit with the unity desktop environment and it's pretty stable yeah I have no crashes crashes so far okay so it's really great minimize this let's go to hard info and let's do yep okay. information network data right right synchronize okay synchronize okay and let's see there's no system monitor right so you can see it's fully stressed out okay and basically it did not have preload installed so I installed preload so my applications can load much faster you can see how fast applications load okay so you can see how nice the graphics really look okay so right Okay, so crypto hash is 604 of this machine this machine and let's see 27 Gotta minimize this 589 629 71 554 612 okay and you can see the temperatures increase right here so what can you use this operating system for? You can use it for playing all your Windows games. You can use it for, uh, you know, if you're a power user in the home, you can do, yeah, it, you can do practically anything you want with it. And what I noticed was that this, this Linux had basically all the core utilities and programs that you could that you wanted to use. It's got Handbrake. Where's the Handbrake? Let's see. Where's Handbrake? XBMC. No, I don't know where it's gone. Okay, so wrist transcoder. Type in handbrake. Handbrake. Yep, you got handbrake. Minimize this. And do a refresh. 601 so you can see clearly crypto hash all right so cpu blowfish is 2.49 seconds cpu fibonacci the uh, cpu n queens 0 0.62 seconds and fpu fft ray tracing okay so minimize this it's got conky but it's not w integrated well, so you have to edit the conky file. It's not a problem. So, yeah. And you've got a Unity launcher. And I'm pretty impressed with this desktop, you know, because it's pretty, it's very stable. You know, Unity is very stable. So, yeah. I'm very happy with it. It's got all the applications. It's got, it's, it's a perfect, complete, full desktop operating system. It's one of the best operating systems I've ever used have ever used in the last eight years since mandrake linux 10.1 yeah that's yeah seven years back yeah this is the op this is the operating system that replaces mandrake linux 10.1 so i haven't seen anything so good so stable in, in over half a decade 
you know that comes right out you've got all the applications installed all the utilities all the good stuff you know so you've got your office applications okay you can install whatever you want you've got the software center out here so yeah you've got Firefox installed by default okay and here we are at the ultimate edition oz.com homepage of this distribution okay so let's open up a few new tabs tch.com okay and tech report google search and tech okay so this is the latest news And it's using I'm using Firefox that is installed by default. Okay, and yeah, and this distribution has has like the same way that Ultimate Edition has all the audio and video codecs. This distribution has all the audio and video codecs that you that you can imagine. If you want to run, you know, all the different types of videos, all the esoteric formats, it will run all those videos. And you that's because you've got VLC, VLC handles all that pretty well, you know. So Okay, it's out here. We got sensors monitor, okay, let's see. Back to Firefox. So you can see compass different applications Klondike black o -Ball, computer yep this is Nautilus okay minimize this and I'm using the docky I'm using docky yeah. open up this you can install anything you want go to the applications dash home applications whatever this is yeah. Go to applications, install, and delete this. So appearance, change the wallpaper. You know, so I can change the wallpaper to anything. And make it look really slick. I can reduce the size of the panel. Panel mode, you know, panel mode. Do I want a panel mode? Let's see how it looks. So you can see it looks really great, really beautiful. Close, okay. Minimize this. What is it? Yeah. Close this quick. This is my sensors. This is what is this? This is a handbrake, right? This is a handbrake. Yeah. My volume control, my volume. Yeah. Sound settings, HDMI, sound effects, applications using GDK record my desktop. And yeah. Minimize this. And where were we? Yeah. Close. And the system settings, all settings, yep, you can see here. Appearance, change the wallpapers to something else. And yep, here we are. Okay. You've got Ubuntu 1. Bluetooth color, you know, displays. It's at 1050p. My resolution, my desktop resolution is at 1050p. All settings, keyboard, mouse and touchpad, network. Yep. Power, sound. Wacom graphics tablet. Details, parts, 64 bit, 296 processor. Yeah. So, minimize this. Yeah. 
it's very stable I've had absolutely no crashes okay and I'm very impressed with Ubuntu 12.04 as it's very stable and Black Opal 64 takes it takes this uh, takes Ubuntu to the next level so I hope you enjoy using this distribution and it's made by the same guys I like I said before who made ultimate edition so you can imagine it is it is stable and has all the beautiful the best applications installed without any bloat in it so I hope you enjoy using this distribution as it's really great feel free to comment Okay, so I can increase text killing factor. Okay, so, yep. I hope you really enjoy using this. Thank you for watching this video. And you can go for all your ult ultimate edition needs. You can go to ultimate edition for this distribution for all your whatever. Yeah.